Now that we have a slope field for our particular differential equation, negative 2x over y, let's answer some questions that might be asked in a math class. Let y equals f of x be the particular solution to the differential equation with the initial condition f of 1 equals negative 1. Write an equation for the line tangent to the graph of f at 1 comma negative 1 and use it to approximate f of 1.1. When we talk about a particular solution to the differential equation, we're looking at some function y equals f of x. Now, we can look at the point 1 comma negative 1, which is right here, and we can probably guess that this particular solution goes up like this, comes over like this, probably goes down like this, down and around, probably some circular or ellipsoidal figure that looks horrifyingly like this. So there is some tangent line at 1 comma negative 1. Moreover, the cool thing about a slope field is that we actually have the slope of our tangent line given to us by our slope field. Our tangent line at this particular point was positive 2, and you can easily verify that by plugging in 1 comma negative 1 into dy dx. So we have negative 2 times 1 is 2 over negative 1 gives us negative negative 2, which is positive 2. This is dy dx at the point 1 comma negative 1, and we know that dy dx is the slope of the tangent line of y at that particular point. So we know that our particular solution has the slope tangent line 2 at this point as shown. Now, they want us to find an equation for the line tangent to the graph at 1 comma negative 1. Well, there are two things that we need for a tangent line. Number one, a point. Number two, a slope. They gave us the point. The point is the particular solution, 1 comma negative 1. And the slope we just found is positive 2. We could have also verified that by just looking at our slope field. And so we can use point slope form to find the equation of this line. So we have y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Now for the second part. Use this tangent line to approximate f of 1.1. Well, this is using our linearization. So they want us to use this linearization centered at x equals 1 to approximate f of 1.1. We have L of x, because we're going to change y to be our linearization, is equal to 2 times x minus 1, and we'll move this plus 1 over. There we are. That means that f of 1.1 is approximated by L of 1.1, which is equal to 2 times 1.1 minus 1 minus 1. 1.1 minus 1 is 0.1 times 2 is 0.2 minus 1 is negative 0.8. So here we have approximated f of 1.1 by using a linearization centered at x equals 1 that we obtained just by looking at our slope field.